Welcome back guys. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your float pole or your match pole rod. Um, this will work for any type. Uh, I'm just going to be using the Majesty as a reference because this is what a lot of people will use late game. And But you can use this on any pole setup including like a Brutus or uh, any of them. But the big thing is, is go off your pole. So starting with a Majesty, for example, the line weight, you don't really care about the low number for purposes of setting it up, uh, but the high number is 57. So one trick I do when I'm looking for um, uh, the reels is when I go into here, um, so for example, match rods, I'll show you guys how to check what pole you need or uh, what reel you'll need. For example, here on the top left of the screen, there or top right of the screen, the top left box is highlight, meaning it'll take a spinning reel, not a casting reel. Um, for you guys that don't know, uh, if, if you're in a lower level of this learning. So then we will go to the shop, look for a spin reel. And what you're going to want to do is, I, I've already done it, but you're going to want to find the slightly, the same or slightly above reel. So we're going to go way over because 57 is way over here. And, and you're going to want to go with, there's 57.7. That's like a perfect setup. And the reason that is, guys, is you don't want to run your reel on full power so if it's slightly above and you're one notch down you're going to be getting the most out of your pole that you can and then the same thing with your line your line doesn't necessarily matter uh, uh, a ton it's not uh, but I would definitely use right around the obviously the pole strength um, this is worn out but I have more to put on it <clears throat> and then use a leader if the fish are biting and when it comes to your leader guys make sure that you're doing more on your uh, test weight than what your line is otherwise what will happen is this will wear out quicker than your line and you don't want that to happen because this will break and you won't even get a warning for it at least on this you can see when it's wore out on your screen on your three bars uh, when you're fishing um, and and then your bobber is just going to be whatever your bait is so match it up to that so if you see X heavy you can see in our baits this will work for like for example crawfish weight is X heavy right there um, but like I said the one trick that I do um, this is like a really good setup for a uh, majesty um, but also these leviathans are great for other poles. You should probably have them anyway um, But the one tip like I was saying is do a little bit more on your reel And that way when you back it down one on your reel to not wear it out so quick You'll be getting the most out of your rod without breaking it. Just make sure your bars Don't go uh, to the full red bar at the very top all right, so when you do your pulls properly, you can see they're maxing out very close to the top, but not at the top. And this is that exact setup I was showing you guys that works really well. You could actually get one more bar up if you wanted to, but this is about as good as you're going to get on a Majesty. So hopefully this helps you out guys, and have a good one. <laughs>